Three days ago, my husband discovered that I, 27 female, had been having an affair. He's as of yet unaware that it began nearly two years ago. It started as sexting with a man I met in a professional context. I was lonely and bored with my routine. My life was so fulfilling, I had no problems, and I felt like I had to do something to feel that energy again. Looking back, I realized my AP was just a predator waiting and lying for lonely, desperate women, and I fell right into his lap. From there, things snowballed. It moved from sexting to video calls where I undressed myself, and eventually I met with this man in person. We had multiple physical encounters over the span of a few months, each time telling myself it would be the last, each time finding myself drawn back by the temporary thrill. This isn't even the first time I've betrayed my husband's trust. Before this affair, I was involved in a separate online relationship with another individual. That was before we were married, in the period leading up to the wedding. Never got physical, but I was on the verge of meeting him. My husband never found out about that one, and I rationalized it as not as bad because we didn't actually meet. Looking back, I see now that this pattern of seeking validation and excitement outside of my marriage is a deep-seated problem within me, and it's something I need to fully address if I ever want to be someone who's trustworthy, not just to my husband, but also to myself. Right now, my husband is in a very dark place, and I can't begin to describe the pain I see in his eyes. He's brought up divorce multiple times in the last few days. He's barely hanging on. I haven't been able to process my own emotions because I'm so focused on trying to help him through his pain. He doesn't know that the affair was physical, and I'm struggling with whether to reveal that part, given how he's worked himself into this fragile state over a batch of sex. I know the truth will likely make things worse, but I also understand that lying, even by omission, is what led us here in the first place. I just don't know if his mental state can handle more pain at this moment. I know that true reconciliation won't be possible unless I change who I am at my core. I want to become someone who aligns with the values I've ignored for so long. My past choices have hurt my husband beyond words, and I'm committed to taking the time, however long it takes, to try to heal the damage I've done, not just for him, but for both of us. I want to give him the space he needs while also supporting him in any way I can, whether that's through counseling, giving him space, or just being available if and when he wants to talk. I hate seeing him in this deep, dark hole, and I want to do anything I can to help him climb out, even if it's just to stabilize him enough to consider his own healing. I want to begin the long journey of trying to become someone he could trust again, not just as a partner, but as a person who lives with integrity. Should I be more transparent or am I risking more damage? Should I keep some distance or do I need to be present even if he seems like he wants space? Thanks for reading. Update 1. I'm feeling pretty low right now. I've been neglecting myself since D-Day four days ago. I know I'm a piece of shit for what I've done to my husband and I can't seem to find anyone I can really talk to about this. Venting to my husband is impossible because he's the one I directly hurt. Besides, he's silently seething, and every conversation feels like it just makes him angrier. I can't go to my parents either. I can't even imagine the disappointment they'd feel if they knew the full extent of what I did. As for my friends, I'm too ashamed to admit to them that I was capable of doing something so shameful. It feels like I have no one to turn to, and it's taking a toll on me mentally. On top of all this, I've cut off all contact with my AP, I know this is the right step, but I hate to admit this. The silence is deafening, and it's giving me too much space to think about how much I've destroyed. Meanwhile, my husband keeps asking for more details. He's determined to understand what happened, but I've been avoiding telling him about the physical side of the affair. He thinks it lasted only two months, and I know if I reveal everything, how long it really went on, how deep it really was, it could break him even more. He can tell I'm holding something back, and it's driving him to the edge. He's becoming more restless, angrier, and more convinced that I'm not being genuine. He's accusing me of being ingenuine. I don't even know what his obsession is of wanting to know all the details. Why can't he be satisfied with the details he already knows? Every conversation we have ends up with him lashing out, sometimes over something I say, 
and sometimes just because I'm there. The way he talks to me now, it's like he's trying to make me feel as worthless as I made him feel. And to be honest, it's working. I feel worthless. I feel stupid. I feel like I shouldn't even be around anymore. I hate feeling like this, but I also hate the thought that I did this to him, so I just stand there and take it. If I say something, I'm making excuses. If I stay quiet, I'm stonewalling. If I try to be affectionate, he pulls away and gets angrier. But if I keep my distance, he accuses me of not caring. I can't win. And I know I'm not supposed to be focused on winning, but I'm so lost. Right now, he seems to think that it's perfectly acceptable to talk to me like I'm nothing, to snap at me constantly, and to pour all his anger on me whenever he wants. I fear this is just how it's going to be from now on. I don't even know what will happen if he finds the true magnitude of what I did. He might snap completely. How do I balance being honest with him and trying to protect him from more pain? I'm here because I want to change and find a way to make things right and to calm his anger. Any advice would be appreciated, even if it's harsh. I know I deserve it. Final update. My husband has left home. Today he called me and the conversation was brief. He's met with a lawyer and said he's going to move forward with ending things. I've been crying nonstop since the call, and I don't know how to handle the overwhelming fear and pain that's consuming me right now. I'm in a very delicate mental space. I've been struggling with depression since all of this started, but now it feels like it's closing in, suffocating me. I know that I'm responsible for this outcome, but the thought of really being alone, of having to deal with life, the responsibilities, bills, is terrifying. My husband took care of all that, and I don't even have any idea how to do those things. I'm scared of what my life is going to look like without him, scared of being swallowed whole by this darkness I'm already feeling. What's it really like to be alone after something like this? How do you handle the guilt and shame when it's just you, without the distraction of trying to repair things? The thought of doing that without him here feels unbearable. I also dread having to tell everyone. My family, our mutual friends, they don't know the whole story, but I'm sure it will come out eventually and I'm terrified of the judgment and disappointment that's going to come my way. I can already hear the conversations, the disgust in their voices, and the looks on their faces. I know I have no right to expect kindness or sympathy, but the thought of everyone hating me just scares me so much. If anyone has been through this kind of end, and has any advice on how to survive it, how to at least manage the mental fallout, I'd appreciate it more than I can express. Story 2. It's been two months since D-Day, and I think I've reached my breaking point. Our relationship has been broken for years, long before my affair happened, but he refuses to see how he's treated me throughout it all. I know what I did was wrong, there's no denying that. But my affair was the result of years of feeling ignored, unloved, and alone. I've tried to hold myself accountable for my choices, but his constant verbal abuse since D-Day has only made things worse. I'm exhausted from feeling hurt, worthless, and scared to express my emotions. I'm tired of being painted as the villain to my child, and I'm tired of the constant disappointment and disrespect from him. I feel like I've been walking on eggshells for years, and I'm done pretending that things can be fixed when they've been shattered for so long. He keeps saying he wants me to put in 100% effort to repair things, but I don't think I have anything left to give. I'm not willing to bend over backward for a relationship that has been so unbalanced for so long. He was never emotionally available, always working overtime, even on weekends, leaving me to handle everything else on my own. I remember once when I expressed that I wanted some free time for myself and asked him to stay home on a weekend. He told me if I wanted that, I shouldn't have taken out a 100K student loan and then ended up being a stay-at-home mom. It was brutal and dismissive, and that was the pattern of our life together. This isn't all on me. I may have been the one who strayed, but the breakdown of our marriage was a joint effort, and he refuses to see that. It hurts to admit to myself that I don't love him anymore. I had always pictured my life with him, but I've come to realize that I deserve better than this constant cycle of feeling small and rejected. I've lost all self-confidence and I just can't keep pouring energy into something that only leaves me feeling empty. I don't know where to go from here. 
I don't have any family nearby, and I'm too ashamed to go to friends for help. I don't want anyone to know what I did, and I feel trapped by my own mistakes. I have no savings, and the thought of leaving without a plan scares me to death. But I know that staying is slowly breaking me apart. I'm done pretending that this is something I can keep working on. Does anyone have any advice for me, or resources? How did you find a way forward when leaving seemed impossible? Any advice would help, just trying to figure out how to take the first step out of this mess.